thanks for tuning in. We're going to make a cocktail this morning, and it's going to be, this is my good side. Can I switch you? Yeah. Okay, it's my great yeah. side. Um, we I are going to be two great sides. So. All your sides are great. You're right. <laughs> We're going to be making a very festive cocktail this morning. Let's center ourselves. That's weird. There we go. <laughs> and it's a festive cocktail with a cranberry mule. And we're going to make it a couple of different ways or offer you a couple of different suggestions of how to make it. So it can be even more fancy, more craft, a uh, kind of like amped up version, or you can keep it really simple. Another thing I like about this is you can use leftover cranberry sauce. That's what we're using. Oh, I so, have so much. <laughs> open up your can of cranberry. That's step one. This, this is, is a jelly. Cranberry jelly. So we're just kind of mix it up and muddle it and get it into a nice smooth consistency. But if you have the cranberry sauce, that's even easier. Cranberry will last for a pretty long time in the fridge too. So you can just put it in Tupperware in your fridge or even better, my trick for everything is freeze it. Freeze everything. Freeze, yeah, but you have to have the big freezer. That's true. But not if you do it in tiny little baggies. You just have to label yeah. the baggies really well, put the date on it, put what it is. And you can always like reuse spaghetti it. sauce. Yeah, you don't want to put spaghetti sauce in your mule. That would be gross. So I just sat here and stirred up the cranberry. Got it so it's more of like a jelly consistency instead of, you know, the log that you slice into. And we're going to put that at the bottom of the glass. If you want, this is an excellent cocktail to make in a pitcher for a crowd. We're going to use Heritage Distilling Vodka in this. This is also use Timber City Ginger Beer. And this is our favorite ginger beer. It's local to Seattle. And it has so much going on in this ginger beer. It's yeah. not just like your basic ginger beer. I mean, the ingredients here, we have lemon juice, sugar, and herbs, and ginger. And that's all they list because they don't want to give away the secret. But we happen to know that they use, like, how much sage in it? a lot of sage because um, we've talked about selling sage today. I think there's so many other herbs and um, things that go into here that make it really tasty. So we like a really complex ginger beer. Ginger yes. beer is non-alcoholic. It's like root I know, beer. that's confusing. People get to confused. a lot of people. I was confused about that. Leftover cranberry sauce or your homemade compote if you did that. Yep. And then I'm going to show you a complex way, but honestly, you could stop here and just do cranberry sauce, vodka, your lime, which we'll add at the end, and ice. That would be a perfectly good cranberry meal. Okay, I have a question. Yes. So I love cranberry, all things cranberry. Yes. What's the difference? Why the sauce and not a juice? Yeah. Good question. It's just going to be a lot more diluted in a juice, and you want to have a lot of flavor without adding a lot of liquid because that dilutes down the taste of your drink. So whenever you're making a cocktail, when you're adding flavoring, you're trying to add a really like strong but not liquidy version of something. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make the drink just like this and then you're gonna taste it, Benice, and tell me if you think it's good. Okay. Add your ginger beer. Don't over dilute your cocktail ever. So like when you add soda as a bartender, you do three or four ounces of soda, unless somebody specifically says it's all glass, right? But you want a drink to have a lot of flavor and a balance of taste without it getting too liquidy. And if you add too much soda, it's just gonna get way too sweet. Then you're going to stir it up. Make sure that the cranberry is like well incorporated. But the other thing to know about this, and I think this is really pretty and makes the drink cool, is whenever you have chunkier stuff, this is like your little uh, lesson in science is it's going to be denser, right? So it's going to float to the bottom. Yeah. So provide a straw, a reusable straw if you can, or a paper straw, but provide a straw so that people can continue to stir because that will continue to settle at the bottom and you want it to go throughout the drink. This but is a really interesting glass you have here. It's such a cool glass. I had to bring my fancy glass to show off this festive cocktail. No one expects you to have a full set of these for entertaining, but isn't it pretty? I feel like it's very precarious. <laughs> yeah, it's this is a glass where I you mean, can like tell you, if people are drunk yes, or not. Yes, you have like one yeah. in this glass and then you just move to the regular old solo cup. Yeah, because it, it sits at an angle and it's easy to spill, but it's so cool and pretty. So. Go ahead and taste it like it is. Okay. Very good. Straw. Yeah. Now we're gonna taste it with the lime in it and you're gonna see how it like pops. You know how they yeah. talk about a pop of color? See, and this is where, honestly, I am not, I am a short cutter, right? We all know that about yes. me. And so this and a is, procrastinator. Yeah, so this is where I usually stop. I'm like, this is good. I've got some sweetness. I 
I've got some of this and then I'm like it doesn't really need the lime like there's just so little of the lime it's not an essential ingredient it's so essential it makes a huge difference it's gonna make the rest of the flavors pop you need to add acid to a cocktail to balance out the flavors yep. that's a meal so right? much better so much better okay yeah. now we're gonna add a little bit more complexity by adding some bitters and some allspice syrup so You'll notice this is super sweet. It's a simple syrup that we've used allspice berries and simmered them to bring the flavor into the sugar and water simple syrup. And then this is Peshad's bitters, which is like your classic aromatic bitters. And it's got a lot of complex flavors in a tiny, tiny amount. You add very small amount of bitters, right? But we're doing a bitter and a sweet. So they're gonna kind of go together and not get us out of balance. Yeah, okay, so don't over bitter your mule, but maybe like two dashes, okay? And then you're just gonna do a bar spoon of simple syrup. So it's not a huge spoon like we're using, so I'm not gonna fill my spoon entirely. It's just like a very small amount. Oh, that just ruined, that straw ruined my pretty I drink. Know, I'm sorry. It's blue, it doesn't go with my theme. <laughs> um, okay, so allspice. You made your allspice syrup yourself? Yes, of course. And I'm sure always. it was very easy, yes. much easier than you would think. You're like, oh, allspice. This is when usually people's eyes glaze over and they're like, yep, not gonna ever Too make fancy. this cocktail. Too, Too much fancy. work. It's but like it's making not. tea. So you take the allspice berries and you just soak them in the sugar and water and you bring it to a boil, you let the sugar dissolve and you've got a syrup that you can keep in your fridge and do like I've been doing and putting it in my coffee every morning. And allspice, the flavors, so now those you just buy at the store. Yeah, so you want to buy whole allspice berries. So a lot of you probably have just in powder, powdered allspice for mm -hmm. making like gingerbread cookies and stuff. But you need the actual allspice berries. And is this a berry or is this a flower? Because I got this wrong the last time. It's a fruit. Okay. So allspice tree can grow very, very tall, and it's an actual fruit. Um, they are originated in Jamaica. Jamaica obviously was trying to protect their trade as they were as people found out about this amazing spice that kind of tasted like nutmeg and um, cinnamon and cloves all in one, which is why it's called all spices, because it tastes like those three things in one spice. And um, so that's how it got its name. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I wondered that. Out there. And some fun fact about cranberries is that you don't have to have a bog. Like you can grow dry land cranberries. They actually, they're not so much grown for the growing of the cranberries, the bogs, but it's the harvesting. Yeah, is why so they that they'll it. float and they're easy to harvest, right? right? Exactly. Yeah. So um, if you don't have a bog close by, you can still grow cranberries. And actually, cranberries like really, really acidic soil. So if you grow blueberries very, very well, um, blueberries also require very acidic soil. So if you have a spot in your property, or you are one of those people who are like, the only thing I can grow is blueberries then you might try cranberries. Okay, <laughs> here's your holiday festive mule. You've got your cranberry sauce. You can use leftover stuff in a can if you bought too much. You can use the stuff you made yourself. Maybe you even go so far as to make homemade cranberry sauce with locally grown cranberries. That would be amazing. Whoa, mind blown. <laughs> um, you're gonna use a local ginger beer if you can. Bonus points if you find Timber City ginger beers festive cranberry flavor because yeah they make that if in the you're winter. in seattle pipe place market has it so go um, check them out yep at uh, uh De Laurentiis. De Laurentiis. Yeah. yeah it's the italian market there um use a local vodka use basic aromatic bitters you can use a local company or peshad's is available nationwide and make your own allspice syrup all you need to do is equal parts sugar water and then throw in some allspice berries let them soak until the flavor really develops for you and add a lime wheel some ice and you're in business guys this is the easiest cocktail to make simple version or complex version okay now i saw that you took this out because it interrupts your mouth it interrupted my mouth <laughs> but if you're looking for a festivity i mean there doesn't get much more christmas than that no that's a super super christmas garnish i mean and you I look I like you have a christmas it. tree and then it's like red and green and and it's beautiful. And rosemary is one of the beautiful yeah. herbs that we love because it's the gift that keeps giving because you can yeah. harvest it in all your time. year. So you should Mom. definitely be growing rosemary. Yeah. Thank you for joining us for our live on how to make a really festive cranberry mule cocktail.